We're gonna go catch some fish today, buddy. Look at that uku, we caught it. We're hanging out with Justin Canteri, the man Morning. who does catch and cook here in Maui. He's my buddy, we've cooked before, we made uku before. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to fillet, or my way of filleting up a uku, gray snapper. And then we're gonna turn it into some spicy poke. So luckily I got my handy dandy dad's at cook boning knife here. Oh yeah. Really similar to the trouts and the other snappers out there out in the mainland. I'm gonna do a slice right behind this fin right here on both sides. So I'm gonna do a slit here right on the tail, flip it over on the other side. Now I'm gonna make a slit right above, down all the way down the, the middle of the spine, all the way down to the tail and same thing on the opposite side of the Okay. Uku. Feel the bone out with this awesome sharp Dad's the Cook boning knife and I'm gonna make a cut all the way down to the tail and you can actually feel the bone as you mm. cut all the way down go to the bottom side get your knife right along that bone we're gonna cut along the middle of the spine and get one side of this fillet from this point here you're gonna run your blade down this the middle spine bone right here and if if you feel your knife getting stuck then you need to angle it just a little bit more up yeah. so it doesn't catch to any of the bones there's one side nice i did leave this fish on ice for the last couple days because from trial and error i've learned for for poke for sashimi leaving it on ice it wow. makes the meat more compact and it makes it a lot easier to work mm. with this part you kind of want to find where the rib bones uh -huh. are ending and you want to just kind of skim along the edges of it so what we're going to do is we're going to do that and then we're going to hold on to that little tab that we made for ourselves and we're gonna kind of cut and pull, and that is gonna take the skin oh, off. Oh, that's perfect, look at that. Every fish has a bloodline, hmm. and you do not want to eat that. And there is also the spine bones that go all the way down to the mm -hmm, tail. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow those bones, make a cut all the way down, mm -hmm. angle our knife, 45 degree angle, and kind of just trim off that excess bloodline from here. We're just gonna cut up our poke up into cubes. Oh yeah, let's get some of this poke going. How do we make the poke now? This is maybe about a pound healthy pinch of Hawaiian salt. Minced ginger here, we'll do a pinch of that. Oyster sauce. This is almost like one of the binders for mm -hmm. the poke. Tamari soy sauce, give that a little drizzle. So once you got your, your saltiness down, then you can start adding mm. the spice. And we've got sambal. Sambal is pretty much like a ground chili paste. Mm -hmm. Sriracha is for the spice and also the sriracha is for the color as well. Just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna add a little texture. We got tobiko here, huh. which is uh, basically fish eggs. Give that a little mix. You make it look so easy, Justin. <laughs> Oh, this is smelling good, man. One full of mayo. Okay. Definitely looking like the spicy poke. Sesame oil. So I'm going to serve this over a bed of rice with the ocean salad on it. Seaweed, cucumbers, and it's kind of mixed in with a garlic sesame hmm. dressing. That's banging right there. There's the sweet soy glaze. Kind of mellows all the spice, all the salt. And I'm going to add that fried garlic with a coffee mix. Top it off with some green onions. Green onions. Look at that poke bowl. We got the uku. Let me just get another bite of that. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. Oh, frick. That's the best poke I've ever had, man. Did I make this? I think you did. Yeah, buddy. Thank yeah. you, Jason. Yeah, as I cook, we got the recipe. We're putting it up. Check it out.